Thailand's first day under military dictatorship passed calmly enough on the surface. But the worry is that the trouble is yet to come. The country was still catching its breath as people watched for the next move of General Prayut Chan Osha's junta, which on Thursday dramatically seized power, rounded up politicians and flushed protesters from the near seven-month-old political crisis off the streets. General Prayut says he made his move to help society to love and be at peace again, using sweeping powers of detention, search, seizure and censorship. But the reaction to Thailand's 19th attempted or successful coup since 1932 has highlighted the divisions in a country racked by a conflict in which an urban elite opposition minority is battling a government backed by swathes of people in populous rural Thailand. Some opposition protesters who've been campaigning to oust the government and install an unelected junta welcomed the coup, although others said they'd press for deeper change. Some Thais shrug off the sudden arbitrary removal of an elected government as something they've seen many times before, three times in the past eight years alone. Other citizens believe, in spite of past evidence to the contrary, that the military can stop the escalation of years of periodically deadly political conflict. But among many supporters of the ousted government, the mood is angry and resentful over what they see as effectively a theft of their votes. While there were no early reports of violence, some Thais are worried about a repeat, or worse, of a 2010 conflict when the army cracked down on protesters in Bangkok aligned to the toppled government, killing scores. <laughs> Some international powers have also expressed alarm about the coup, which could trigger sanctions against General Prayut's junta. At this point what we're doing is we are reviewing our military and other assistance to the government of Thailand. Uh, we've taken preliminary steps to suspend military engagement and assistance while we consider the facts on the ground. For many people, it's a nervous wait for the unfolding of the latest uncertain political chapter in a country that's nominally a democracy, but has once again plunged into authoritarian military rule. Michael Peel, Financial Times, Bangkok. <laughs>